and I made a statement. If assault rifle cannot kill a soldier one with three bullets, it is out. The only assault rifles that can kill soldier one with three bullets are Hello YouTube, what is up Eroctic here? Today we are gonna talk about best assault rifle in the game. Like we already know, there are weapon statistics in the game. But we also know that they are incorrect. What I wanted to do is to test out those weapons and to see what is exact damage and how the damage works. So like I already knew from the past experience that weapon statistics in a game are incorrect, I tried with a different version. I made a list with the bullet types and with the guns in the game. And then I was testing the types of the bullets with the guns if the damage is gonna match. And this experiment wasn't successful. And then I picked up Santa Blanca members to test the bullets. What I was doing is go in engage mode and shoot them in the chest. And I was counting the bullets. Let's meet Santa Blanca members first. So this is the sniper. They have lowest amount of HP. And they are usually on the sniper towers, on the tops of the cliffs and stuff like that. They have highest range of the side indicator in the game. And it is really easy to kill them. The second type of Casablanca member is Soldier. This is their icon, but... But do you remember the video about Agro how I was talking that they hid two stages of Hunted into one? Well, they have done the exact same thing with the Soldier. There are two types of the Soldier. One is without bulletproof vest, and one is with bulletproof vest. What it means is, they are sharing the same icon, but the guy with the bulletproof vest has more HP than the guy without. But the soldier with the bulletproof vest has the same amount of HP like the lieutenant. This is lieutenant right here. They have a different icon above their head, but they have exact same HP. And there is the last class, heavy. They have the most HP in the game. Whenever you go in an engage mode, they are gonna rush you until someone dies. You can see a little bit more models in the game. Those are the snipers. All are without bulletproof vests. This is the light soldier without bulletproof vests. This is the heavy soldier with bulletproof vests. They have the same icon, both soldiers. This is the lieutenant with bulletproof vests. And this is the heavy also with the bulletproof vest, but even with the helm on, they have more HP. The next thing I wanted to do is to test all assault rifles on soldier one on the soldier without bulletproof vest. Just because they don't have a bulletproof vest and they are the most common enemy in the game. And I made a statement. If assault rifle cannot kill a soldier one with three bullets, it is out. The only assault rifles that can kill soldier one with three bullets are MK-17, AK-47, M4AA-1, AK-12, AUG and L-85. Those six weapons are the only that can kill the soldier one with three bullets in the chest. And then I made a spreadsheet with all these weapons, with those top six weapons. And then I was testing the damage of those weapons on every single enemy of the Santa Blanca members. And before we continue, Headshot has a huge multiplier and I'm not testing the damage on Headshots. I'm testing them on the body shots in engaged mode with all barrels. S means short barrel, N means normal or standard barrel, and L means long barrel. All assault rifles are gonna kill sniper with two shots. MK-17 is the only assault rifle that can kill sniper with one bullet, with standard and with the long barrel. So when we are looking on the snipers, all weapons need two bullets except MK-17. MK-17 can kill a sniper with one shot in the chest, with standard or long barrel. Soldier 1 or soldier without bulletproof vests. All the assault rifles require 3 shots in the chest. Everything normal for now, right? And when we are looking on a soldier 2 or soldier with bulletproof vest, we see different numbers now. We can see damage increase in the long barrels, except AK-47. AK-47 requires less bullets with the short and the normal barrel than with the long. M4A1, AK-12, AUG and L85. 
they're requiring 5 bullets in the chest with small barrels and 4 bullets with a long barrel. MK17 requires 4 bullets with a short or standard barrel and 3 bullets with a long barrel. So we can see the damage increase on the longer barrels. Except AK47. I found a bug in the game. The developers misplaced the damage on the AK47 between the long, short and standard barrel. So basically if you're planning to use AK47, use standard barrel just because they misplaced the numbers. So AK-47 also requires 3 shots in the chest and 4 shots with a long barrel. So now we are seeing the difference like 2 types of the assault rifle. AK-47 and MK-17 requires 3 bullets to kill the target and the rest requires 4. Lieutenants and Soldier 2, like I already said, they have same amount of HP. The bullet count is the same. And there is a last type. Heavy. MK47 and MK17 both requires 4 shots in the chest and M4A1, AK12, AUG and L85 requires 5. Ok, after that I went over magazine sizes. My next step is to calculate rounds per minute. So I can know the difference between poor rate of fire or high rate of fire weapons. So I was counting how long does it take to empty the magazine out of all of those assault rifles and I was testing both, 30 meg and 50 meg. And I added that to my spreadsheet. And after timing, I calculated the rounds per minute. This is the spreadsheet with the rounds per minute. And after this, I calculated rounds per second, so I can calculate it time to kill. I calculated this rounds per second with bullets required to kill the target. And I came up with this spreadsheet. And now when you're looking time to kill overall of these weapons, there is not that much difference. Which means, like I already said in my previous videos, that weapons are pretty much balanced. And this is exactly what I was talking about. They are all balanced. But now I have a proof to back my words up. Even the G2 that has the highest rate of fire and it takes more bullets to kill the target, it is gonna be the same like AUG for example. There is a one more thing that I wanna point out. In this time to kill spreadsheet, I wasn't calculating bullet traveling speed. Like we already know, bullet has a time travel. And it seems that different types and even different assault rifles have a different traveling speed of a bullet. To make this video a little bit shorter, those are average numbers. And by the way, when you have a suppressor on, the bullet traveling speed is gonna take twice as long. That means... If you are killing the target that is 100 meters away from you, the bullet traveling speed is gonna be 0.1. But if you are shooting with suppressor, it is gonna take 0.2 seconds. For every 100 meters, you will have to add 0.1 second in time to kill. So for example, when I open up my spreadsheet and I wanna know how fast I'm gonna kill the lieutenant with the AK-47 with, within 200 meter radius, I'm gonna know that for a lieutenant it requires 3 bullets and I'm gonna kill him in 0.32 seconds. That means if lieutenant is 200 meters away and I'm shooting without suppressor, that means I'm gonna kill him in 0.52 seconds. But if I'm gonna kill him with suppressor in 200 meter radius, it is gonna take me 0.72, if all three bullets land. But there is a one more thing that I wanna talk with you guys. There is a critical hit chance in the game. I'm sure that you already noticed that indicator has two symbols. It has straight lines and it has arrows. Well, those arrows mean that you are critting, that you are doing extra damage. There are different ways to crit and there are different types of crit. When you are playing stealth, when you are undetected, you have 100% critical hit chance. And on top of that, you are getting a guaranteed kill. You have 100% crit chance and your damage is maxed. That means one bullet is one kill. Everything is gonna crit with full damage, no matter what weapon you are using. But when you are playing in engaged, you are gonna get straight lines indicator that means no crit, but eventually you're gonna get critical hit. But when you're getting critical hits in engaged mode, it is not gonna be guaranteed kill like in stealth. It took me a long time to make this spreadsheet just because some of the bullets were critting the targets and it was messing my calculation. But eventually I have done that, so it took me only one week. 
there are few ways to achieve more critical hits in engaged mode. That means if you use a flash grenade on the enemy, you're gonna crit 100% of the time. And when you're shooting the targets without crowd control, there is a chance you're gonna get crit, but not that guaranteed kill like in stealth. And I cannot tell you exact percentage of critical hit chance just because it is gonna take me a lot of time to calculate critical hits on them, but roughly there is a 10% chance of crits. And now when we know all of that, I'm gonna give my final verdict. All the weapons are balanced, they all require almost the same time to kill, but since there is a crit hit chance in the game, rifles with more rate of fire are gonna crit more. Which means, assault rifles with more rate of fire are gonna kill target much, much faster because of the crits. I'm really not sure am I gonna go with the SMGs on the same way like on the assault, with the assault rifles, just because it took me a lot of time to do that. If you wanna help me out with this spreadsheet, I can leave the spreadsheet in the description down below, you can throw a comment on this document file and I'm just gonna listen to the majority of people that are saying. My next video is gonna be 1000 subscribers special, so be prepared for something special. Yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one. Eurotic, out.